was so delighted to be here to talk about this because there's nothing more important than understanding your client and especially the fact of vision loss and how it affects their um, isolation or other problems they could have. So let's get right started and Ali, why don't you tell us what is low vision? So low vision is when an individual, any person, is having trouble completing their daily living tasks and it's not correctable with eyeglasses. And these are visually guided tasks, so things like reading, or um, signing their own mail, sometimes seeing the knobs for cooking, anything like that. Very good. And why don't you ask me a question? When somebody has low vision, what is the difference between visual impairment and legal blindness? And, and that's a great question because uh, a lot of times people will say, you know what, without my glasses I'm legally blind. But the big key is that they put their glasses on and they're not legally blind. So they can wear a correction, and vision loss is really related to someone who has used their best correction, glasses, contact lenses, uh, surgery, and they still can't see. So that's why that's called low vision. And low vision would be someone who can't see normal size print. Okay, Dr. Jamar, I have a question for you. Sure. How common is low vision? How likely are our volunteers going to encounter this with their clients? And uh, actually, you can imagine it is a common condition so that for people, certainly even after 45 years or 50 years, start to have different conditions that are causing them to lose the sharpness of their vision. And as our population ages, it's going to be even more common. <clears throat> so what we can say is that 8% of all people over 50 years old are going to have this type of condition. And although you might say, well, that's a small number, it's a lot in the, when you consider in the United States, that's going to be roughly about four or five million people who have that type of visual impairment. And so what are the different types of conditions that uh, are low vision? Yeah, so there are many different conditions that can cause visual impairment or low vision. Two of the most common, um, the first is macular degeneration. Um, and what that does is it actually causes you to lose the ability to see fine details such as smaller print and you can actually get what are called central scotomas which means a blind spot in your central vision. Yes. So if you're looking at someone, sometimes their face or part of their face you can't see but you can kind of see what's around it. Another condition that um, commonly causes visual impairment or low vision is glaucoma and in glaucoma you typically lose your side vision first and your vision gets more tighter and refined and you have a smaller visual field or a smaller area you're looking through. Um, and so that can cause early on problems with mobility and falls, things like that. And another one is cataracts. <clears throat> this is very common as you get older and um, uh, this causes you to have trouble at night um, this is part of that discussion about lighting, and you can say that uh, the older patient, we have to check the lighting in their apartment so that they're able to see things, and yet they're reluctant sometimes to put the light on. So, so this is a tremendous thing you're volunteering for. You're actually uh, breaking through a barrier uh, that someone may have as they actually are losing their vision. They actually are reluctant to go out. They're reluctant to continue to do things they love, like reading, seeing vision. Even though their vision is impaired, even though they've lost vision, they still have vision, and that vision can be maximized by low vision rehabilitation.